Skiers have hit the slopes in Switzerland as this year's ski season begins. They arrive despite an ongoing second coronavirus wave in Europe. But on the other side of the famed Swiss Alps, in a French ski village, it's a different story. Chairlifts stay still, with no hope of restarting until at least January, as the country goes through a second lockdown. Mathieu Deschavan is CEO of a cable car company in Chamonix. Donc, uh, we struggle to understand closing the resorts, especially since competing ski areas are open, in Spain, in Switzerland, in Austria, and that the museums in lockdown are opening soon. It's an issue that's dividing countries in Europe. German Chancellor Angela Merkel said Thursday she wants Alpine countries to keep resorts shut, but she warned reaching an agreement with Austria over it has been tough. The Austrian lockdown ends on December 7th, and resorts there plan to open by Christmas. The ski season is approaching and we will try to reach an agreement in Europe on whether we can close all the ski resorts. Unfortunately, it does not look like this will be so easy if you listen to what Austria is saying, but we will try again. Austria's finance minister said earlier this week that the EU should cover losses, which they estimate to potentially reach around $2.4 billion, if the bloc forces skiing sites to stay closed. However, the EU Commission said it's up to countries themselves to allow skiing for the season.